One of the guaranteed deliverances from crisis at times for some people is not prayer, sacrificial giving. Either to bless people or others. God is watching every activity. I mean it. Majority of those who make huge costly sacrifices rarely pray for many things. Yet they always have results. You know why? Because he who waters others himself will be watered. Many have needs in crisis around you. Many. Some have like, social needs, emotional needs. And this thing doesn't mean you should step out right there and look in where is the need. Right in the sphere of influence where you are in your niche, there are people right there God is exposing to you every day. So if you're a student, and Henry, there are people in class that have meat. Workers in the hospital, same here. Those who are selling dresses, so whatever you're doing, there are people, God is exposing to have meat. That's why they keep coming around you, you may not be seen. Learn to give and lack. Say learn to give and lack. That's when you see how God supplies, praise God. Then one thing you should do in a crisis, or when your faith is tempted, is to do what say pray. James 5.13 is any afflicted, let him pray. There are many kinds of prayers which I teach that one day on kingdom prayer. Say plan and prepare for the future. Say plan and prepare for the future. Why? Because we have hope. Already we established it's a season. Nothing lasts. And every test of your faith is a season. So you must be making plans and preparing for the future. So you must have a vision. That's what I'm emphasizing right here. Say where there is no vision, the people waste. Make sure you have a vision, even in the course of this crisis. Hallelujah. Lastly, now, we know that all things work together for the good of those who love Him. Say, those who love God and who are called according to His word. So, before things work out together, anything happening to you wrong or frustrated by the enemy, make sure you are in love with God. We'll make sure you love God. And to love God is simple. You want to know, say, keep His commandments. <laughs> Lastly, what then shall we say in response to this? If God is for us, if God is for us, if God is for us, you know he did not withhold his own son that freely gave him to die for us all. Do you think he will not give you anything you ask him? I'm saying so because when your faith is tested, sometimes you need things so that you will be free from whatever is disturbing you. Connections, you need promotion, you need resources and many more. Be encouraged to do this. Hallelujah. Someone is still copying that. You might want to go back home and take excerpts from all of this and share with someone. Spiritual this light and encourage them. Why are you blessed? Father, thank you. Seed has been sown. The word has entered. I rebuke the devourer from stealing this. The wicked one will not attack their minds. I pray that Lord, it helps them to overcome perilous times. In Jesus' name. Amen.